Hey guys, it's MacLover65 and I'm going to be doing a look today. It is kind of like a fall look. It has um, some browns, some burnt reds, and just it, it merely makes brown eyes pop. So, um, and then I did a bright lip, well kind of a darker lip. It's kind of a reddish um, gold and then I put a gloss over it just to make, add a little bit of a hint of uh, sparkle to it. So um, I just wanted to show you the look real quick. So it looks like this. There's the red on the outside and then it's like brown and my lips are kind of like this reddish color. So I think it's like a perfect fall look, a perfect look for um, a school or a date or just pretty much anything. So I mean it goes with absolutely any outfit. So. You could actually just change the look by either changing your cheek or changing your lips. And my cheek is a baby pink, so because I have a very I have darker eyes and a darker lip, so I wanted to downplay with the cheek, so I didn't have like so, like much of just too dramatic. So, yeah. Anyway, um, very quickly I will run over what I'm wearing. So, because I did this this morning before I had to go to school, um, I have a just a copper bow just because it kind of like matches my hair a little bit so I really didn't have a bow that like matched this outfit then I have um, earrings that match my hair but the turquoise so the it blends into my hair but the turquoise stands out and then I have on my boyfriend's heart that he gave me gave me which is white gold with diamonds around the bottom and then of course I'm wearing like this little black shrug because I'm wearing a tank top so it's kind of cold outside so I'm wearing my rings that he got me and since it's kind of cold of course I have my little shrug on I'll stand up so you can see that I have this little shrug on and my top right here I got my top from Cache and it's black and white striped and um, the sides are kind of wrenched and then I have a seat I have rhinestones on my back so you can see this I have rhinestones all up in here and they go up the sleeve and they're all over the bust so um, I'll kind of angle the camera down. And then my pants are ripped jeans, which have like a hole in the knee. And then the pockets have rhinestones. And on the back, they have rhinestones too. And then my tennis shoes are sequined coach tennis shoes. I thought it like really worked, so I thought I'd just try it. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy this look. And I will see you guys at the end. So first, we're going to take Paint Truly Paint Pot to prime our eye and make sure that our eyeshadow stays on longer. I'm going to take my 224 fluffy brush and take saddle and apply this into the crease. Now this is kind of just like a like a darker, well lighter brown, like a saddle color. The name explains it. Now I'm going to take my 242 and I'm going to take smog from Urban Decay and I'm going to apply this onto my lid and you want to blend upward lightly at the bottom and just blend up. Now you're going to take a fluffy brush and blend that. Taking, I think it's a 217 brush, it's rubbed off. Taking DeVille from the Venomous Villains, it's a red color. Apply this into the outer corner of the eye. To kind of give it a little pop. Now I'm going to take my 210, my lino brush, and line my eyes with Black Track by Matte. Lining my eyes, and it doesn't. The line doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna smoke it out. Now we're gonna take a brush to smoke out the eyeliner. Taking Carbon by Mac, we're gonna smoke out your eyeliner now. And I really like this look. I've been wearing it for a while now, and I've really liked it. It's a good everyday look, night look, pretty much for anything. I've really liked it. Give me Liberty of London color. It's a light pink. I'm going to use this to highlight because it kind of it, it complements my skin very well. Using a pencil brush, apply it to your inner corner and your brow bone. Taking engraved, we're going to line our upper lash line just a little bit. I'm going to use my eyelash curler and apply Fairy Drops Mascara, but you can use any kind of mascara you want. The bottom lashes, don't forget them. I'm obsessed with mascara, so I just have to do at least two kinds of mascara. 
them using Buxom mascara now to get volume and very drops for length. Buxom for volume. And I'm OCD about my lashes. This literally took me 60 seconds. It literally took me a minute to get my eyelashes to look like that. Which is pretty sad. I'm going to show you the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And I'll see you guys later. So I hope you guys like the look. I just used on my face some NARS foundation, MAC blush, a tart cheek stain, and um, of course concealer. But um, pretty much the look is really however you want to do it. You can always change up the colors. You can make them darker. You can make them lighter. It is really up to you. So even in the outside corner, if you want to make this for Halloween, you can make like the crease. Um, black or something and then make the lid kind of a dark a lighter black or kind of a gray and then on the outside you could do orange I know it's a really weird combination but I mean if you're a cat or something I don't really know so anyway I hope you guys like this look please leave a comment below if you want me to do any looks tutorials or reviews and like the video and please comment and please 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 subscribe um, I'm thinking about doing Halloween looks, but I have no clue what Halloween looks to do. I'm thinking about doing a fairy look, um, kind of, you know, just to try it out, see if you guys like it or not. Um, but just leave a comment below, and I will see you guys later. Also, if you have a fall look, please leave it as a video response because I love watching look videos. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.